What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. Another long day at work, just getting home. You can tell that the sun is actually going down right now. It's, I think like uh, 10 of eight or something. So we got that good, that good golden sun right now on my face. But I was just looking at the big line kit that I put on the 2001 24 valve Cummins and just checking to see kind of how it was holding up and it appears to be good. I guess I, I was just kind of having a little bit of a concern about the way that the AN fitting goes into the VP44 injection pump because when you have your banjo bolt <clears throat> in your injection pump, there's two little washers that seal that up so that it doesn't leak. But when you replace that banjo bolt with the AN fitting and same with the underside of the fuel filter housing, there's only a small little O-ring on there. So I guess I, I was just concerned about how the O-ring would really hold up and seal, but now that it's been a couple weeks, I figured we would look at it again and just see how it was kind of holding up. And everything appears to be good. I do see a little bit of moisture down on the 90 degree push lock fitting that comes off the bottom of the stock fuel filter housing, but I don't feel that that moisture is from a leak due to the fitting or the uh, AN fitting actually in the bottom of the stock fuel filter housing. I think that, that it's wet and that moisture is from fuel that is actually dripping out of the little so the little drain on the stock fuel filter housing that lever that you lift up and down to drain that drain the fuel out of your fuel filter housing if you're gonna change the fuel filter. Well mine is kind of old and the o-rings in it um they get hung up inside the little tube that the plunger rides up and down in i think that it's just leaking a little bit uh a drip at a time here um so i think that my my 90 degree push lock fitting actually has fuel and moisture on it due to that dripping and leaking slightly so we got to get that thing replaced and taken care of and you can replace just that little drain on the fuel filter housing so we're probably gonna just i think you can probably get it right at the parts store to be honest so we'll probably go and look to get one of those and get the old one off of this housing and get a new one on there i want to try to get everything with the fuel system on the 24 valve cummins all straightened out and buttoned up so that there's no question about it uh we know that everything is solid it's good there's no drips there's no leaks there's no way that any air can be getting into the lines or into the injection pump more importantly and i want to make sure that all this stuff is done and out of the way leading up to the purchase and install of a new vp44 injection pump on the last upload though if you look at the comment that i pinned underneath the video i asked if you could see one mod to go with the HX35 turbo install, what mod would you want to see? Would you want to see a cold air intake or would you want to see an intake horn? Now, both would help out the HX35 turbo when we put it on the 24 valve Cummins, but I I want to take a little poll and let you guys kind of vote in the comment section. So you can leave your comment on that video, you can leave your comment on this video, and tell me what one you would rather see on the 24 valve Cummins with that HX35 and we will see what everybody kind of has to say and what ultimately you guys decide and then we will look to get one of those ordered whether it be a cold air intake or an intake horn and then uh, go ahead and get that on the truck with the HX35. Speaking of the old HX35 though that is what I'm going to work on a little bit right now. I am going to bust out some sandpaper and just go to town on this exhaust housing and work on trying to get it cleaned up a little bit so that we can get it all just degreased and washed down a little bit and maybe we can get a coat of paint or something on it just for the time being so that when we put it on the truck it doesn't look like an old rusty exhaust housing and it will it'll at least look a little bit fresh so let's get into that and try to get this thing at least started so we can get it prepped and hopefully do something with it before we put it on the truck
the sandpaper just was not cutting it for me. I'm the type of guy who needs almost like instant gratification and uh, it, don't leave the jokes save your jokes man I, I know where you're going with that get your mind out of the gutter but no I'm just kidding we uh, pulled out the old wire wheel I've got three different style of brass wire wheels for the drill so I figured that would speed it up because these things had just been on a truck for a long time they had some crap on them so we pulled that out and you can see look at it's starting to get some shine to it man so we're we're definitely getting some of the crap out of all the little crevices and all the little nooks and crannies on this exhaust housing and you could see I was working on the actual exhaust elbow which is attached to the backing plate that goes here and covers up where your wastegate is on the HX35 and it'd be the same setup on an HY35 so that backing plate goes right here and I'm just trying to clean up like the mating surfaces where the gasket has to go so a gasket will go here and yeah we will have another gasket obviously there where it mounts to the exhaust manifold so I'm gonna get the uh, mating surfaces for the gaskets all cleaned up just try to clean up as much as I can down inside the housing too obviously I'm not going to be able to get all the soot and crap like that out from in here I don't have a media blaster or anything but all that stuff will get taken care of when it actually gets sent out a little while from now not too long but it, it'll get sent out soon enough and when it does down to Turbo Lab of America I'm sure they'll put it through a machine and get this thing really just cleaned up as best they can but I I am definitely getting excited to get this HX35 turbo on the 2001 24 valve Cummins. I am going to keep chipping away with the wire wheel for a little bit and trying to get this cleaned up. You guys know I've already done a lot of work on the compressor housing and got that thing basically sanded right down pretty far, like sanded down enough to the point where I was trying to remove the cast marks off of it and try to smooth it right out so that it just it had a nice appearance to it. I plan to do that and continue to work on that, but I don't know if I will have that part finished before I actually install it onto the truck this time around, but when uh, it, it will get done, just, just know that. We are gonna get that completely smoothed out, sanded right down, um, but for now, I, I just, I have to get it on the truck to get the HY35 off the truck, but we are gonna do a little bit more work on that, and the goal would hopefully be to, depending on the weather, I think we're gonna get rain on a lot this weekend but I would not mind to try getting the HX35 possibly on the truck this weekend so we'll see what happens with the weather um, but right now let's just keep let's just keep going with this thing and see how much we can get done I'm losing sunlight right now but we have a little longer to go so let's just see how far we can get That is about all she wrote for tonight. We got, uh, we got it a lot nicer looking than what it was uh, when we started that's for sure I really hadn't done any work at all to the exhaust housing of this HX 35 um, when we originally had pulled the whole turbo apart and gotten into it to rebuild it or anything so this was long overdue and just something that I was honestly kind of dreading having to do because I knew that Obviously, this is the worst part of the turbo where all the exhaust goes out, all the soot, the, the rolling coal goes out this and out your exhaust. So I knew this was going to be um, a project to get this cleaned up enough to where I could paint it and at least have it looking somewhat decent on the truck for the time being until maybe, uh, you know, down the road, it might get powder coated. Eh, you'll have to wait and see. But we got a good dent in it now and we will continue to clean this up 
and prep it for paint just so we can have it looking decent while it's on the truck for the time being. Now that I've got this thing cleaned up a little bit too, I'll really be able to examine it a little bit closer and really check it out and see if there's any defects, major flaws or anything like that uh, before we go ahead and put everything back together and put it on the truck. So that's very important as well uh, to know what kind of condition it's in, but obviously you can't see all that if it's caked with soot and just rusted up from being on the truck and everything. So getting it cleaned down like this um, is good for that as well. Not only to make it look good, but to really uh, dig into it and check it over, make sure everything is as 100% as it can be with the exhaust housing side of things. We know that the compressor housing is good. Uh, so like I said, a little bit more work on that smoothing it out, getting rid of cast marks, and that will actually be in good shape. So my main focus at this point is just finishing this exhaust housing and then putting the whole turbo back together and getting it ready to install on the truck. Like I said, hopefully if the weather allows it, we can do that maybe this weekend, but I don't know. We are supposed to get quite a bit of rain, so we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. If you could do me a favor on your way out and hit that thumbs up button, hitting the like button really helps the channel with growth and recommending the videos to new people, hopefully to let them see them, get new family members here on the channel. If you are new to the channel, stopping in for the first time, then I encourage you to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of work left to do on my 24 valve Cummins. It seems like it never ends and when we finish one thing, something else pops up. So we're basically at this point, it looks like we're gonna just be going right through it and uh, basically rebuilding it back to a brand new truck like it was in 2001. With our first main focus being the HX35 getting that wrapped up putting it on the truck and then the VP44 injection pump after that and uh, once those two things are done and out of the way that should be the last of the major stuff that I uh, really have on my list of to do's at the moment and then we will continue on with other smaller things so comment down below what you want to see a cold air intake or an intake horn and I will see you guys in the next video by the way I've had what almost two weeks of daily uploads yeah man I, I didn't think I could do it you should hit the thumbs up just for that peace I just wanna get, get.